Hey everybody, Bass Bees. So today, getting into a double deep. It's uh, out in the woods, and literally, I've only checked this thing, I think, twice since very, very early on in the season. I don't know if it's swarmed. I don't know if it has the top box drawn out. I really don't remember much about this hive. Um, I'd have to review some footage, but basically I think I fed this thing a gallon of syrup after I caught it. I caught the swarm here up in the tree and I lowered it to the ground. And I think I give it a gallon of syrup and maybe or or maybe I brought it a honey frame. I think that's what it was. I brought it a honey frame and that was it. And I come back and checked it and it had nine frames of brood. And I think I pulled a frame of brood up into the second box and gave it foundation. It could have been drawn comb. I really can't remember. But uh, before I get started, those of y'all that don't know Ricky Rourke, Ricky has um, horizontal highs. He has some vertical highs too. But he makes some really nice horizontal highs. And he give one to Cayman. And he's doing a giveaway again. So if you don't know Ricky, he's a really nice guy. I don't brag on a lot of YouTubers, but his top bar, or excuse me, his horizontal hives, they look supreme. They look extremely nice. And um, so you could have a chance to win one. Go subscribe to his channel. Maybe I'll leave a link in the description. So anyway, let's get into it. Literally, I have no idea what we're going to find in here. So before we get started, if you would, hit that like button. If you like the video, subscribe, help it get out to other people, help it get into the algorithm. And um, basically, I just say how I feel and um, just real beekeeping. I don't try to sell you nothing. I don't, uh, I don't know. One thing that's a turn off for me is it seems like a lot of beekeepers start getting a lot of viewers and then it turns into money, money, money. So... I just try to share with you stuff that I've gained through experience and pass it along. That's basically what this is about. So hopefully the little girls are nice. I know they were slamming with brood last time I was here. And uh, I don't think I put a feeder in it, but I really can't remember. So I brought some syrup. But virtually these things have really had no interaction this year. I don't think so. Looks like they got this thing really profilized. Probably. These are a hybrid carny. And they glue everything together normally. I see high beetles everywhere. I don't use traps. You can see all the high beetles. And uh, that's quite a bit. This hive's in the shade. So y'all think that we don't have high bills in Missouri? Think again. And uh, when I see them like this, I'll smash them. Try to help the bees out. But basically, you know, we can get slimed out here just like everywhere. And I do not use any beetle traps. The best thing you can do is um, coverage. And this is the um, time of year where beetles are at an all-time high. But the bees got them uh, pushed up, propolized. You know, when you, uh, basically they got them in jail and they guard them. And, um, you know, if you got a weak hive, they can overtake the hive and slime it out. But basically, strong bees can handle it. And, uh... Something has to go wrong. Beekeeper error for small hive beetles to slime out a hive. I mean, you got too much room on them, or you let them get weak. They swarm, fail to requeen. Something's going on if your bees can't handle small hive beetles. Basically, and I don't mean this is as offensive, it's just the truth. If small hive beetles overtake your hive, basically it's an after effect, and it's beekeeper error by letting them get weak. So, best I can tell, 
we had extremely long dirts here this year and uh, these girls need fed I can then tell by the amount of small high beetles I can already tell that this high probably swarmed or Varroa caught up with them They've had no interaction. And I'm going to say the dirt really slowed these girls down. I mean, they were killing it. Absolutely killing it. And um, you can see they didn't draw the foundation. I mean, they had nine frames of root solid. This thing should have been jamming. These bees right here can get it done. If everything's right. They got the population and the food to do it. They can flat do it. This one is extremely heavy with nectar. Nice light nectar too. You can see the heavy propolis on the frames. These girls are amazing. And we have hard winters here. You know, it could be uh, the end of September needing a coat and not warm up again till April. So, we definitely have some strong winters sometimes. Y'all seen 18 inches of snow last year. So I love bees that fertilize hard. That's a good thing. And what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna move up to the outside. Since it's not drawn, I don't want it in the nest. If it was in the spring, I'd put it between two cones, try to entice them to draw it. Same thing with this one. Now this one's drawn, don't have no food in it. I'm gonna move this. I'm gonna give them a place to put some nectar, break up that band. These will still swarm this time of year. They're building the winter nest, you can tell. They're putting all their honey above them. So, the seams are filled in the bottom box. They look real nice. You can see a nice tight brood pattern laying her winter bees. And that's why I want to give her a little room. Absolutely killing it on their own. Sometimes the best, depends on the queen and the bees, but sometimes bees would be better off left alone. If you have an exceptional queen, you come back to a hive like this one that has literally had no interaction all year, except for adding a box. That was basically all I did. I gave it a frame of honey and added a box. So this is my third visit. First time. I got it out of a tree, set it on the ground, put a frame of honey in it. The next time, I pulled a frame of brood up, added a box. I got slam packed with food, brooded. So, they, uh, looks to me like they were incredibly strong this summer when we still had a flow on. They flat packed in some nectar. And we're getting some more. Farmer just cut the field with all the milkweed and goldenrod. I was completely broken hearted to see that. But they'll, uh, they'll find it, they'll forage, they'll go deeper. So I brought some wax with me. After this video is over, I will wax this. Places like this, so these girls can finish their comb and they'll finish it on the fall flow. Places like this. These bees have a good temperament. Maybe when this is about over, I'll let y'all peek down in here. These are um, truly feral bees. Ozark Mountain Bees. These are the same bees that Dr. Leo catches himself. And, um, I don't know if I agree with everything he says, but they are amazing bees. I'll give them that. So, 
I brought a couple frames after the video. I'm going to put them in here. This one, they're not really filling that well, but they start in the center and work their way out. So I'm going to leave all the stuff that uh, don't get drawn to the outside. Let them expand as they want. I don't want undrawn frames in the center when they move up. There's no food there. But um, so basically, I'm got uh, four grams of oxalic acid, roughly. I got four heaping scoops, and I'm gonna hit these girls with oxalic acid. It's late in the game, but it won't hurt to clean them up some. And these are out in the woods. I can't get over here. Part of the reason that I didn't move this hive was because I have thieves. And I wanted some reassurance. And I have a few hives like this. So it would be hard for people to get to. But um, So anyway, that's one of the reasons I left it here. And another reason, the times I was thinking about moving, it was a swamp and I couldn't get to them. That's a lot of the no interaction is where they're located. I can't always get to them. So anyhow, maybe I'll take you over here where you can see. So as you can see, it is absolutely slam packed with bees. And um, these girls, they handle Varroa pretty good. I'm not gonna say that they are resistant, but and you don't have to do nothing but some of these swarms really deal with the viruses here pretty good and some of them don't so um so it's a toss-up but um just keeping it real i'm gonna go ahead and hit them while i'm here because i'm here and um whack some of these frames look at that so it's beautiful, it's tickled pink. So anyway, just thought I'd bring you all along. Don't forget to hit the like. Y'all have a good day. John Bass Bees.